Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I have one question for you. What do you people want from me? And I mean that in all seriousness. Um, you know, I, I love do-it-yourself, I love learning, I like getting excited about projects and sharing about them, and I like doing that through the YouTube videos. But at the same time, I only have uh, so much time, energy, and money, so if I'm continuing to make YouTube videos, uh, I want to sure, be sure to make videos that uh, make the best use of my time, energy, and money, and that those become videos that you want to watch, that you find them educational, that you find them entertaining, uh, whatever it is that you get out of my videos. Uh, so today I'm looking for a little bit of feedback. You know, please keep it positive, but what I'm really looking for is uh, which, which of my videos do you like the most? Why do you like them? Uh, a lot of my YouTube videos have been kind of eco-friendly while saving me money. So it's kind of uh, go green while going green. Uh, but at the same time, there's a lot of things I'm interested. You know, there's kind of this broad range of topics out there. So for example, uh, on one hand, I've shot a lot of videos about uh, electric vehicles. Um, but then also I've done projects that I call those my, uh, my do-it-yourself dad projects. The things, uh, working on projects with my daughter, like the, uh, the Princess Castle bunk bed or the do-it-yourself Dutch door. So uh, do you watch all my videos or do you only watch the ones that are about specifically electric vehicles or something else? I want to know. I'm also curious to know if you read my blog at 300mpg.org. That's uh, primarily the, the, the clean transportation, electric cars, that sort of thing. I do some writing there. Uh, if you do visit at 300mpg.org, do you like my writing? Um, do you visit regularly? Uh, do you subscribe and get updates? Uh, likewise, I have an, an account on instructables.com, and I'm wondering if you take a look at my projects there. If you do, are you a subscriber? Um, if a project is in a contest, do you vote for it? I don't know, but I'd like to, uh, so let me know. Uh, another interesting thing on my YouTube channel is almost half of all my views are from just one video. Uh, it's the video in which I drop a bowling ball on a bulletproof glass coffee table that I made. Uh, I've got like 5 million views on that one video, and I think it's because of, of the gun nuts, people who are just really into guns. Uh, really liked that video. Um, also, it's a pretty short video. Um, it's short, something exciting quickly happens. Um, I also had uh, just a ton of views on it recently uh, at New Year's, and I think I just kind of got uh, lucky with little tagged words on that because uh, people were doing a web search for ball drop right before New Year's, and then ended up going to my video where I drop a ball on the coffee table. Um, it, it's a fun video. I wish I knew how to make a ton more videos like that that you know people will watch five million times. I don't know. Is that what you're looking for? Uh, do you want videos where you know something very quick happens like that? Uh, short videos, action oriented. Um, at the same time, that was kind of weird. I don't have an unlimited supply of bulletproof glass, so it was kind of a unique thing. You know, I really can't make that video again. Um, I've done a few other videos, kind of sciency and destructive. You know, a little bit MythBusters. Um, I have the solar death ray, so I kind of built a big magnifying glass and I've used it to melt or start a few things on fire. That's the uh, solar death ray versus uh, series of videos. Uh, if you like those, let me know. Um, Green Power Science, another channel on YouTube, they've done a lot of videos like that that I know I've always enjoyed. And I always kind of like the, the science and experimentation sort of things. I do have a few ideas for um, new types of videos that I can be doing on my channel. Uh, for one thing, I'm one of the founding members of the Milwaukee Makerspace. And at Makerspaces or Hackerspaces, there's a lot of really neat people always working on all sorts of different really cool projects. So I thought one thing that I could do is actually make an entire series of videos based on these different projects that people are doing at the Milwaukee Makerspace. So that would be interviews, follow the person as they're working on a project. Um, so instead, instead of just documenting projects that I'm doing, documenting projects that a whole bunch of other people are doing, uh, which me, would mean uh, a lot more different people you'd see on camera and a much uh, larger variety of projects. Another thing I could do for some future videos, actually, is uh, interviews. Uh, I've come to know enough different people in, say, the electric vehicle community, for example, that there's some people that they've done some really cool things, and, you know, they're, they're friends of mine. 
Um, it would be kind of cool. I could get interviews with uh, people who've crisscrossed the country on electric motorcycle trips or have built uh, some really neat different projects. Uh, some of those might be kind of Skype interviews, that sort of thing, but I could get some really interesting people um, onto my videos. Uh, for example, a couple years back, I shot a short interview with Ed Begley Jr., and in that case, it was, it was just, I, I grabbed him for five minutes and we talked about electric cars, and that was pretty cool. It was uh, fun just to get to meet somebody like that that uh, most people uh, at least know of and it was nice of him to uh, donate a little bit of time like that. But maybe I could get kind of um, some celebrities almost on and interview them. Another thing I could do for some future videos is I still have a whole bunch of footage that I shot when I rode my electric motorcycle all the way around Lake Michigan. I called that the Loop the Lake Project. Um, I actually have enough footage to just about make a feature length indie film out of it, uh, which I think would be really cool. But again, that's the sort of thing that takes uh, a lot of time and effort uh, to put into to do the editing and put the entire thing together. Um, I did post uh, some, a couple of short videos on my Loop the Lake project, but I still have this big bulk of video that's really just waiting to get converted into, uh, you know, essentially it could be a, a YouTube feature film almost. And lastly, just uh, any other comments you have about my videos in terms of, um, you know, format, style, um, how long the videos are, anything like that. Maybe you love seeing me on camera, maybe you hate seeing me on camera. Uh, I mean, I've done a few videos where it was just pictures and background music. I've done videos like this one where I'm kind of over explaining everything. Um, but no matter what you have, um, any kind of positive feedback you can give me, really let me know what you want to see on this YouTube channel. And until next time, stay charged up.